guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, we have another WWE figure review for you guys, but it is our first time ever taking a special look at Mattel's brand new WWE Ultimate Edition, guys. Not Elite, not Basic, but Ultimate Edition. We have been waiting on these figures for so very long, and we finally have Series 1 Among Us, Ronda Rousey, and the Ultimate Warrior. I think that everybody has been waiting on these figures for a very long time, and I think they look absolutely fantastic. The packaging looks great and they're a lot bigger than I thought, man. I, I don't know why I felt like the packaging would have been slimmer and sleeker. No, man. These things are big. Here's here's a warrior figure. Like, this is a regular warrior elite. Look how big the packaging is, man. I mean, th this packaging is massive. I like the way of it. It feels good. It, it, it looks great. I love the font they're using for their names across the top. And what we're going to do is take a closer look at the packaging because, uh, you know, that's how we start off our reviews. So just like the elite figures, guys, you can see you have the front viewing window here. You have all of your accessories and everything that we've got with the figure. On the top, you can see their names. Ultimate Warrior, Ronda Rousey. Very nice modern font going on. You got Ultimate Edition at the bottom. If we spin them to the right, you will see a picture of Warrior here. He looks freaking crazy like the Look at this. What the hell was that? Spinning them across into the bad guys, you have a great shot of both figures at the top left. You have all this info. If you would like to read either of these read-ups at the bottom, you can go ahead and pause it now. Like I said, you get all the info on the left. You get a picture of them on the right. Spinning them back around, you have the names on the sides just like you saw at the top of the packaging. And that is pretty much it for your Ultimate Edition WWE figures. It's going to be weird not saying Elite, but these are Ultimate, man. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go ahead and crack them open and take a first look at the first episode. Ever, WWE Ultimate Edition action figures. What the hell was that? So here are the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior out of their packaging, guys. And I have them in these poses because I want you to understand how well the arms are articulated. These figures are double jointed like Hasbro's Marvel Legends, like other figures like that. You know, they can actually bend their elbows past the 90 degrees, like way past 90 degrees. You know, a lot of trouble with the women's basic figures and a lot of Mattel WWE Elite figures aren't able to pull a microphone up to their mouth. And I wanted to show off that the Ronda Rousey figure can literally put her fist to her temples with her arms out to her sides. She could probably put them all the way to her chin. That's just like an example right now. We'll go over the articulation later. And the Ultimate Warrior can bring the microphone closer. It just wouldn't look as natural. It kind of would look stupid. So I just want you guys to understand these, these figures are the real deal. Like just taking them out of the packaging and playing with them just for a second just to set them up here. They are, they're really good, and I, I'm very excited for these. I can't wait to see where this line can go in the future. But we're going to take a more detailed look. We're going to dive in, take a closer look at all the details, all the accessories, the interchangeable parts, and everything to do with these Ultimate Edition figures. So what we're going to do first is cover Ultimate Warrior's accessories and then Ultimate Warrior, and then we'll take a closer look at Ronda Rousey's accessories and Ronda Rousey herself. So taking a closer look at Ultimate Warrior's accessories, guys, he doesn't come with as much as Ronda Rousey, but I think that they are still quality. Here's the interchangeable head scan that he comes with. You can see this is more of later on in the matchup where his face paint is rubbing off. I believe this matchup is supposed to be where he took on Hulk Hogan at Halloween Havoc 1998. And this is supposed to be later on in the matchup when his face paint is obviously smeared off. And this is the head scan that he comes with inside the packaging. I really like both of them. I think both of them look pretty good. They do show a lot of likeness to Warrior. I love the dry brushing we're getting on the hair scan there. And um, this is just how easy it is to pop the head scans on and off. You just pop off there, take your other head scan, and reattach it just like with Nia Jax, just like with Andre the Giant, and boom, there you go. So that is how easy it is to, you know, switch out those head scans. It's not a big deal at all. Same thing with the interchangeable hands, guys. We've seen this multiple times. He comes with a pair of interchangeable fists, and we've seen these with multiple figures before in the Elite line. And then we have the entrance hands, or the, the I call them the throne sitting hands, because, you know, if you were sitting on a throne, Thanos style, you'd have, you know, just gripping the sides of the chair would be like that. You get three pair of interchangeable hands if you count the ones that come on him in the packaging. You get two head scans, the battle damaged, or the worn, and then the full face paint for the entrance. And then, probably one of the biggest selling points for the figure is the Halloween Havoc Ultimate Warrior entrance robe here with all of this detail. I believe it is supposed to be airbrushed, much like all of Ultimate Warrior's gear. I'm pretty sure all of his gear and everything he ever wore in his career was airbrushed and custom made here. You got all this detail going down. You have NWO, you have Ultimate Warrior logos, you got the Grim Reaper, you got Here Lies NWO, 
NWO. You have like uh, this graveyard scene. Very, very nice. Very high quality. It feels great in the hand. It looked great on the figure as you guys saw before. On the inside, it's sort of a lighter color. There's the seam stitched together. Very nice cloth robe, man. I really dig it a lot. I think it looks fantastic. It looks great on the figure as well. And that is pretty much all you get with Ultimate Warrior is you get the two interchangeable head skins, the three pairs of interchangeable hands, and the entrance coat. But now that we've covered his accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at Ultimate Warrior himself. So taking a closer look at Ultimate Warrior himself, guys, you can see the head scan here. We do get a brand new body mold. We have never seen these parts from Mattel before because it is all completely remade. This is an elite figure done over, and you guys can see we no longer have the connected ab crunch, and we'll do a, a little comparison here with the other Ultimate Warrior. You guys can see this is an elite here on the left, and then we have the Ultimate Edition on the right. It's no longer the full crunch look, but they have the torso in two separate pieces here. On the arms, we finally get double jointed arms, and I absolutely love this. Guys, look at this right here. He can actually crunch all the way in. I love that, dude. Like, this is going to spoil me. I cannot believe we haven't had this in the past. If all elites had double jointed arms, guys, I mean, this would be absolutely amazing. Like, I, I love this so much. You get some vein details going on in the inside of the biceps. Those look fantastic. What I thought was weird, this is something interesting, guys. You can actually pose around the armband here. Like, this is actually poseable. Like, if he's running, you can make the tassels look like they're running because you can actually pop these out of the armband. They're actually two separate pieces, and it's kind of difficult to get back in there, but I guess if you wanted to make it look like he's running, it would make it look more realistic because you can make it, you know, if he's running down the aisle way, you can push it backwards and make it look like he's running. If he's resting, you can make it down by his sides. I thought that is so cool. Like, I did not think they were going to do that. I don't remember them, you know, making that noticeable um, when it was, you know, the prototype images and all of that good stuff. You get great detail going on on his wrist gauntlets. You got all these ghouls and ghosts. You have the ruffles coming off. This is the same mold that we've seen in the past. Zooming in on the trunks, guys, I really like these trunks a lot. The ghouls and the warrior and everything looks so good. Very highly detailed. All of this, uh, this decal work here looks very clean. You can see it says own on the back. I love the demons and stuff on the back. It reminds me of like Randy Orton's tattoos or something. All those skulls and ghouls and stuff. Going down into the legs, you do get the upper thigh cut that we've seen with the, the, the elite figures. We'll go over the articulation in the next segment. But going down into the knee pads, the knee pads are the same way. You can remove these and you can make it look like he's running again. You can have it, you know, flowing backwards down by the sides. Love all the colors they're using for this warrior figure. I think that it does look just like the attire he wore. And then down at the feet, guys, you will see that we get the white tassels and the boots. And this is a first. We have never seen toe crunch before. I found that the Ronda Rousey figure's toe crunch works, works a lot better. I need like some pliers or something to get this one. I don't know why mine's so stuck right here, but this one is a lot better. You guys can see there. Boot color looks great. Just overall really quality figure, man. It just feels like a great figure. I think, do these retail for 30? I can't remember what they retail for, but these, these I think these are going to sell really well. I, I think they will do great. I don't know what the hell's going on right here. What, what is that? Anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the details of the figure. Now let's go over his articulation. So for Warriors articulation, guys, you will see in the head, we don't get much changes as far as articulation. You get a little bit of head wobbling. He can turn all the way 360. He can look down a little bit, not so much up. Arms can come out here. You can rotate that all the way. He does have an upper bicep swivel that can go in. Double jointed elbows, which looks so great. I, I still can't get over that. I love that so much. You get uh, the, the hand can rotate all around and hinge up and down. The abdomen crunch isn't the greatest. Like, I feel like he should be able to lean over a little bit more than that. Like, even if you, you know, push down and everything, that's about all you can get. As far as leaning back, you can lean back a pretty decent amount. You do get waist swivel. He can go over to the sides a little bit, like a little pivot here. In the legs, he can spread his legs out about that far. He can kick forward about that much. Back, not so much because of the butt cheek flap. You get upper thigh cut, double jointed knees where he can bend his knee like a ridiculous amount. I really enjoy that a lot. Kicking forward, I wish that he could like bring his knee up more. I hate that, you know, you can't do like a jumping knee as good. Like I wish that he could crunch forward more, you know, get that get that ab crunch so you can bring that knee closer for, you know, like knee shots if I wanted to do that. You do get boot rotation. You get ankle moving down. Ankles do move up. You get the toe bend there and he does not have ankle pivot. Overall, loving this Ultimate Warrior, man. And I'm not even a big Warrior fan. I've never been a big Warrior fan. I felt like he was always overrated. I know that he has a lot of charisma and a lot of star power, but I've never been a real fan. But this figure makes me like him, man. I, I really do enjoy this. Now that we've covered the figure and the articulation, guys, let's take a closer look at some Ultimate Warrior figure comparisons. So here's the brand new Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior in the middle with the Target exclusive Hall of 
Fame Ultimate Warrior on the left and the Elite 26 Ultimate Warrior on the right in the singlet. And you guys can just see they do scale very well. They're the same exact height. You know, Mattel didn't make them slightly larger, which you would probably, you know, uh, struggle with. You would think that maybe the, the Ultimate Edition would be a slightly larger piece, but it is not. I think they did a really good job transitioning from Elite into Ultimate, and they blend in well. I mean, besides, like, the new torso, I still think that it blends in well, and I think I like this look of the torso better. I think it looks okay. I just don't know about the ab crunch. I feel like this can ab crunch a little bit further than this one on the right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it about the same? It looks pretty much about the same, but maybe it just feels like this one can get a little bit deeper. I don't know. But now that we've taken a look at some comparisons, guys, let's take a closer look at Ronda Rousey's accessories. So taking a closer look at Ronda Rousey's accessories, guys, we do get three interchangeable heads with her instead of just two with Ultimate Warrior, and we also get two different looks for Ronda Rousey. You can have her in her entrance gear, and you can have her in her fighting gear, and we have all three head scans right here. Just like Ultimate Warrior, they're very easy to interchange. Here's the first. You have sort of the long hair down. This is sort of what her Elite Series 65 head scan looks like. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same look, and it looks great. I think the paint apps look great. It does have the likeness to Ronda Rousey. We have the second head. We have the second look, which is the ponytail with the braided look, which does have her smiling instead of the serious face, which I like a lot. And then we have the third one, which comes on the figure in the packaging, and this one's definitely my favorite that pissed off Ronda Rousey. I freaking love this, man. This is easily my favorite women's figure we've ever gotten. I think it's just so nice. I love the way it feels in the hand. It looks great. It looks just like Ronda Rousey, and I remember when Ronda Rousey guys first showed up in WWE, I was not a fan. I was like, dude, this this is like, what what is this? I, I don't like celebrities in my wrestling. I know she was an athlete. I know she's a high performer and everything, but I don't like when people come in and sort of like bring this notoriety to it, and people start talking about it, and like, oh, it's fake, and all this bull crap. So I, I really wasn't a fan when she came in, but with her first match, man, she turned she turned me into a believer man I, I was so excited for her run after that and she became my favorite woman in the company next to Becky Lynch guys she was she was literally my number one and I miss her already to be honest with you but with Ronda Rousey guys you do get a pair of interchangeable hands not three pairs of interchangeable hands but two you get the mic holding hand or the open hands and then you get the fist that she comes with inside the packaging but here's where it gets interesting guys you have the entrance jacket arms so we have two pairs of interchangeable arms that are completely articulated they are double joint you do get the bicep cut. You get the full rotation and everything. We're going to switch these out so you guys will see. If you own the figure or you're purchasing the figure, you will see how to do that. We also have the piece that you would put over her sleeves. But I guess the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take this portion of her arm out. And it pops out just like that. Then you will take your uh, your other side and you'll have to pop this side out just like you did that left side. Just give it a little twist and a pop and it will come right off. Come over to the right side. Actually, no, you want to take your jacket now and plug this this in, put that over the torso just like so and then you'll come back with your arms here and just plug them in boom like that go to the other side you'll do the same exact thing boom like that and now you have an entrance coat version of Ronda Rousey and for this guys all you have to do is take her uh, her open hands here and you can just plug it in just like you do for the elite figures you know we get the interchangeable hands you just have to plug them into the holes inside the figure right there kind of stiff right there geez that's hard to push in but there it goes you'll hear a little pop noise go to the other side and do the same thing just like that and boom there you go and now we have to take her little kilt from Rowdy Rowdy, Rowdy Piper and I believe you just hook this around her waist, maybe. Yeah, I probably should have put this on at the beginning, to be honest. Yeah, because I think this is supposed to go around her waist here. But anyways, there you go. That is the look you're going for. The, the entrance version of Ronda Rousey. I like the fighting version better. I mean, I, I don't know if I'll get another Ronda Rousey to, to display with the entrance jacket. But this is the way you do that. If you wanted to interchange that, that is the exact way you do it. And I do like it. I think it looks clean. I do like that you don't lose any articulation. Like, look at this, guys. With that jacket mold, you can still grip her face. That is freaking beautiful. I love that so much. Much, but I think that I like her in the fighting version better and to uh, go through all the details of the figure We are going to switch it back. So at the next portion of the video where we cover the figure She will be back in her fighting gear. So let's go ahead and do that So taking a closer look at Ronda Rousey guys look at this head sculpt I love it so much. I know we covered it a little bit already, but I love this figure man I this is again my favorite women's figure they've ever done if they did every women's figure like this Which I don't know if they could I, I don't know if they would sell well enough for them to do this. But if they were to do this to every women's figure, I would have every single women's figure that has ever existed from Mattel. I, I love this. I think this is fantastic. Um, I love the, the colors we got going on with the Rowdy on there for Ro Rowdy Ronda Rousey. You got the white top, red outline going on. I love that, uh, that again, with Ultimate Warrior, um, I don't think we've ever gotten ab crunch with women's figures this good. I think this is probably the best ab crunch we've gotten. It's not the greatest, but it's still probably the best we've seen from a women's figure. You do get the, the sculpted pieces on 
onto the wrist for her little fighting gloves. I wouldn't even call it fighting gloves. It's more like these fighting wristband type deals. You got the regular black shorts. I don't like that they went with the same crotch mold and upper leg mold like this that they use for the women's figures. I feel like that hinders it a little bit, and you guys will see what I'm talking about when we cover the articulation. But these double-jointed arms, man, they look great. They feel great. Again, look at that right there, dude. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. That's what our Pete Dunn figures need to be able to do. I am loving this Ronda Rousey. Posing this thing around is so much fun. Great stomach sculpt there. I love the way the chest sculpt is. I think it looks great with all the details. You can kind of see the, the framework and the, and the muscles that Ronda Rousey's got going on. Going down into the legs, I think this is my favorite part of the figure. I just love the way her legs look. I think that the the knees look great. I think you, re you really can't tell how good Ultimate Warrior looks because, you know, he has the knee pads covering, but I love the skin tone and the sculpt they went with with Ronda. I love the boot mold they went with. You do get rotation here. I mean, this figure is just phenomenal, man. And I didn't think that I would be saying this, but I, th I like the Ronda better than the Ultimate Warrior. I, I really do. I think it I think it's so fantastic. I am, I am freaking very impressed with these figures thus far. But now that we've went through all the details of the Ronda Rousey, guys, let's go ahead and break down all of her articulation. So for Ronda Rousey's articulation, guys, with her head, you get a little bit of pivot here. She can't really look down that much. She can't look up that much. So the head is pretty much good for, you know, turning side to side. And she can rotate it all the way around if you want her to be the exorcist. For the ab crunch, she can go forward that much. It's not very much at all. Back, she can go a little bit further than she can forward. She does get waist swivel all the way around. She does get all the way rotated here on the arm. You get the upper bicep cut. You get the double jointed arms, which are so good, man. I, I can't get over over how, like, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I am loving that. You get wrist rotation. You also get the hinge up and down. Right here, this is my biggest problem with the legs, guys. Kicking forward, she can't kick forward that much. And then, like, when you try to do, like, a jumping knee, I feel like she should be able to bring her knee up to here. Like, I really want to be able to do that, but this, uh, the way they made these thighs right here makes it kind of impossible to bring her knee past that point. So that, that is probably my biggest gripe about the figure. She can do the splits pretty good. She does have the upper thigh cut. Double Double jointed knees which allows for amazing articulation here I love that so much you do get boot rotation you also get the ankles can move down the ankles can move up you get the toe pivot or the the toe bend there and she has a little bit of ankle pivot not really but man what a fantastic Ronda Rousey figure man I, I love this this may be one of my favorite figures of the year guys early early contender here I know it's ultimate edition and it's kind of cheating but it's fantastic but now that we've covered the figure guys let's go ahead and take a look at some Ronda Rousey figure comparisons so take it a closer look at some Ronda Rousey comparisons, guys. This Ultimate Edition crushes her other figures. You have her Elite 65 figure here on the left, which is her first Elite. You have her Basic here on the right, which is her first Mattel figure ever. And then we have her Ultimate figure. So, she is uh, the first woman to have a Basic Elite and Ultimate Edition figure of herself. So, you guys can just see. I mean, the, these figures compared to this one are just on a different level. This one can hardly stand up. This one's in the same boat. Both of them are hard to even stand. And the Ultimate Edition has no problem doing anything. I think that uh, the Ultimate Edition can definitely just whoop these two's ass in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And she's going to be super fun to, like, pose around with. I encourage any stop-motion artist or pick fetter or anything, they need to, you need to bring Ronda Rousey to your pick fetter or your stop-motion, man. She, she is a beast. But that pretty much does it for your Ronda Rousey figure comparisons. So that pretty much does it for your two-in-one WWE Ultimate Edition review on the first ever Ultimate Edition figures, guys. Series 1, Ronda Rousey, and Ultimate Warrior. So first of all, are these figures worth it? Absolutely. freaking lootly I absolutely love both of these to, for tremendous reasons. I think that they're absolutely epic. I think they're worth the extra price point. Those double jointed knees and elbows are incredible to pose around. This is the best women's figure that Mattel has ever made, and I think everyone should, if you have not picked up a Ronda Rousey figure, this is the one to get. I recommend this one highly. I think it, everyone, everybody that collects this line should absolutely have that Ronda Rousey in their collection. For Ultimate Warrior, if you don't have an Ultimate Warrior, pick up this one. You get the epic coat, you get the interchangeable heads, you get all the interchangeable hands, and it's the best warrior they've made to date. So I think it's an absolute must for both of these figures. And if you would like to pick up either of these figures, guys, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, and you can purchase both of these, as well as many, many more epic WWE elites and epic WWE figure accessories, weapons, and all kinds of other jazz over at WrestlingFigures.com. But my overall thoughts on both of the figures are amazing. Again, I think that everyone should 
should own them. They are Series 1, and I cannot wait to see where the Ultimate Edition Series goes. I know in Series 2, we are getting Bret Hart and Shinsuke Nakamura, and while those figures did look the greatest when, you know, the prototype images released, I'm excited to get them just to compare them to these and see all the articulation and stuff, because I've had so much fun posing all of these around. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 figure review on the Ultimate Edition, guys. I hope I did them justice, and I hope you guys have a better understanding of how they work and how they are compared to Elite figures. So, uh, to be honest, the double-jointed elbows sell me on the figures alone. And Ronda Rousey, I believe, is the only women's figure to ever have double-jointed knees, making this women's figure very fun to play around with, which is usually not the case at all. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. What did you think of the review? What do you think of both figures? Are you adding them to your collection? Let me know down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.